Hi, I want to talk to you about my vacation that I took in Nepal in 2009. It's a really exciting place. And here's a picture of it here, but I have a whole bunch of other pictures that I want to show you. But first, let's make sure that everybody knows where Nepal is. So here's a Google map, and this is us in Fukuoka and Kirikyushu. Make this a little bit smaller so that then you can see not just Japan, but also India. And you can see Nepal over here. If you make that a little bit bigger, you can see the main city, Kathmandu. Kathmandu is the biggest city in Nepal. That's where my airplane flew in, and that's where I visited my friends. From there, I stayed there for about oh, two weeks, and I also did some hike, hiking around the Himalayas. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. It was a really great vacation. When I went there first, um, I thought this is a really amazing place and, uh, and uh, it was really exciting, very exotic. But one thing that really um, stayed in my memory was that everywhere you went, people in cars or motorcycles were, when they were driving, they were always honking their horns, beep, beep. They would drive 50 meters, beep, and then beep, beep, for no reason at all. They just like pushing their horns. And after a while, it started to get a bit annoying but after a while after that, you started getting used to it. Although I gotta say, I wish they didn't do that so much. It seems kind of pointless. And to me, if there was an emergency, you couldn't tell if someone was trying to get your attention because everybody would just be ignoring the beeps. But uh, besides that, it's a beautiful place uh, full of incredible architecture, full of incredible landmarks. Unfortunately, back in, I think it was 2013 or so, there was an earthquake that really, really damaged the country and monuments like this, this is the city center, a very old part of Nepal, were really heavily damaged. Uh, they've rebuilt a lot of it. So if you ever get a chance to go, uh, please go again yourself. Um, because there's a lot of Indian culture in Nepal, um, a lot of Hindu culture, uh, cows and bulls are allowed to go wherever they want. Uh, we were walking along uh, one morning uh, to go to a restaurant and there was this bull just standing there and I decided to take a picture with it. Um, dogs too have a different kind of culture. They aren't the same kind of thinking that you think of in Japan or in America. Dogs aren't really that friendly. Uh, dogs don't seem to be part of um, a family uh, the way some families will treat their dogs. Dogs go wherever they want. They sleep wherever they want. Some people will feed them, but they're not that friendly. They don't look at human beings as if they're, they're something that they admire. I thought it was a really interesting uh, difference in culture between dogs, like dogs have their own culture. Uh, when we were hiking around the Himalayas, you could see that uh, the best way to move any um, goods or any um, food up to these really, really high mountain areas was by mule. And sometimes you could even see people carrying stuff, that that was the way they made their living. They would hike along uh, a 10 kilometer, 15 kilometer path carrying big bottles, I'm sorry, big, uh, big racks of water, big racks of food, and sometimes really big loads on um, these mules. A mule, by the way, is a cross between a horse and a donkey. Uh, this is our guide when we were hiking, and I was really surprised how strong he was. Um, when you think of Sherpas or when you think of uh, people from Nepal, they actually are really, really strong people. Even though we were so tired, walking as much as we did sometimes, he had no problem. He was always full of energy the next day, a really good guy, really liked him. Nepal is a beautiful place for many reasons, but because the Himalayas are there, um, this is one of the pictures that I took uh, going, looking out my window when we were going around uh, the Himalayas. If you get a, ever get a chance to visit uh, Nepal, I really suggest it. It's a great place. Thanks very much.